Hello, my name's Andrew, and these are the Vivo Barefoot Ultra Bloom, the best minimalist water shoes for maximum protection. Growing up, I always had a pair of basic water shoes around and they were great for the beach, but kind of sloshy for longer hikes and didn't do much to keep my toes from getting sliced up by rocks. So this year, I asked Vivo Barefoot to send me a pair of Ultra Blooms to test. And let me tell you, these things are like an aquatic tank because the Ultra Bloom has a foot-shaped toe box that's a bit wider than other Vivos with a thicker honeycomb upper for quick water drainage and serious protection, plus slip-on bungee laces and an outward curved ankle cuff to prevent rubbing. Underneath, there's a 7mm eco-friendly algae bloom tread with medium flexibility in both directions and a mix of flatter panels to prevent wear and raised lugs for improved grip, as well as a wraparound sole and two bottom slits for extra drainage. While mine are obsidian, the Vivo Barefoot Ultra Bloom also comes in light gray and other refurbished styles for a discount at revivo.com. When I first put them on, the Ultra Blooms felt more like a regular barefoot shoe than a water slipper. So going out on a stream hike, I had no problems at all with getting my toes pinched between rocks and the tougher sole easily handled trekking over loose, jagged stones. Also, the drainage on the Ultra Blooms is better than any water shoe I've ever owned. So unlike neoprene water slippers, you can just clean them out mid-stride by swishing them around. That said, I found the Ultra Blooms less comfortable to wear barefoot on dry land because the solid upper tended to rub on my toes. But you can towel them off in about five seconds and they do feel a lot better with a thin pair of socks, although the minimal sole is best used for moderate terrain. Overall, the Vivo Barefoot Ultra Bloom is a great option for anyone who wants to upgrade in protection while still having the ground feel of a basic water shoe. Because the toe box is wide and easy to slip into, the honeycomb upper provides excellent drainage and the seven millimeter sole is tough enough for any aquatic terrain. However, the Ultra Blooms can rub when you're barefoot on dry land, the thicker sole limits flexibility somewhat, and the minimal tread doesn't have enough traction for muddy hills. For casual use, an inexpensive water shoe like the O'Neill Reactor can definitely get the job done, but for more technical hiking, a neoprene sock liner is a good way to improve the comfort and versatility of a thicker shoe like the Ultra Bloom. If you'd like to support the channel, you can shop with the referral links down below or watch my zero drop transition video to learn more about barefooting. Finally, if you have a question about the Vivo Barefoot Ultra Bloom or about barefoot shoes in general, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.